Now, my next guest has marked her 104th birthday by completing a 17-mile hill climb challenge. Inspired by Sir Captain Tom, Joan Willett walked the steep slope outside her care home in Hastings four times a day, raising more than £40,000 for the British Heart Foundation. And we are very privileged to say that Joan joins us this morning. How are you feeling 17 miles, Joan? I feel fine and it's such a beautiful day here and it's all due to the British Heart Foundation and the care that I've received here at Old Hastings House. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. But I'm thoroughly enjoying life now, <laughs> even though I am 104. Well, 104, it's a remarkable age, Joan, and you finished this 17-mile walk on your 104th birthday, surrounded by your friends, and I'm assuming there was a lot of cake. Yes, I, I, and I'm so grateful to everyone for all their help and encouragement that they've given me. It hasn't always been easy to do it each day, but I managed it with the help of so many friends and the carers here. Well, you have a particular carer I know that's incredibly close to you, Pauline. And I know Pauline's kind of been by your side quite literally, Joan, for many years. Oh yes, she's here. I couldn't have done any of this without her help. She's been absolutely wonderful. And also, Joan, you mentioned the British Heart Foundation and it's a charity that you feel very personally about because they, they helped you. You were around 82 years old when you had to have a heart operation. Yes, um, it was 20 odd years ago now, but I had a very severe heart attack. I was taken up to King's uh, Hospital in London and they performed a pioneering surgery on me. I wasn't expected to live, possibly, only two years. Well, that was 22 years ago, due to all the skill and help of everyone around me. The people, it's, even people I don't know, have given me encouragement on my walk. Otherwise, I should never have been able to do it. And the fact that I'm here is due to all the help I've had from other people. And Joan, you, you set out to, to raise 500 pounds to begin with. You're sitting now with over 40,000 pounds raised for the British Heart Foundation. It's a remarkable sum of money and I'm sure will make a huge amount of difference to the charity. Well, I want to be able to thank everyone for all their generosity and kindness. There's so much kindness around that we don't notice very often, but there's so many kind people around and so many that I don't even know. And I've enjoyed doing it so much because it's put me in touch with people I haven't seen or heard of for over 50, 60 years. And I do thank them all very, very much indeed. Well, Joan, Alongside your walking, you have been following Sir Captain Tom. Of course, he um, has raised huge amounts of money over our lockdown period. Um, he's been a real inspiration for you, I believe. And in fact, you'd love to meet him one day. Yes, uh, I would like to meet him, but I would like to thank him also because it was because of his effort that I started mine. I thought, well, if he can do it, I can. <laughs> well, obviously, Joan, we can't bring a meeting together because of everything that's going on in the world right now. But we do have a very special message from Sir Captain Tom just for you. Wow, Joan, walking up that hill. It's so impressive. Amazing. Well done. Well done, Joan. You are doing a very good job. Thank you very much. And uh, keep going. Congratulations on raising over £33,000. After hearing about your life-saving surgery, it is incredibly inspiring to hear about what you're doing. Happy 104th birthday, 40 days ago. What do you make of that, Joan? Thank you very much. What do you make of that, Joan? 
Thank you very much indeed. And I hope that you continue to enjoy life as much as I am. <laughs> We'll have to get you to meet eventually at some point, and we will make that happen, I promise. You've obviously got a lot in common. <laughs> so, Joan, you've always walked... Thank you very much indeed. Joan, you've always walked, Joan. I know it's a way of, of just keeping healthy and fit. Will the walking continue? Is that the secret to a long and happy life? Oh, it certainly is. I do believe that you must keep walking and taking an interest in everything that's going on around you. But only, it's only by walking out of doors that you can keep in touch with the outside world. I'm, I'm absolutely intrigued with all this technology that's going on that enables me to s speak to you and to all my friends. <laughs> well, Joan, a very happy belated 104th birthday. Congratulations for all your efforts. You're a remarkable woman and thank you for talking to us this morning. Morning. And thank you very much for having me. Thank you. What a joy. Thank you. Don't so forget, much. you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one, or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.